Should we be worried about increasing solar activity? Birds falling out of the sky. The meteorologists Astronomers have identified a new asteroid which is headed our way. They have never seen a case of cannibalism, never seen a case like this. A stunning crime. This is called 2012 DA-14. Hello, people of Earth. My name's Hannah Holbrook. And I'm Hannah Dose. You know, with all this fear and talk about the end of the world, aren't you a little curious about where this myth originated? December 21st, 2012 marks the end of a 5,125 year long cycle on the Mesoamerican long count calendar. Many people may interpret this as a time where Earth and its inhabitants may go through a positive physical or spiritual transformation. Others see this date as the end of the world with many catastrophic events, but astronomers and scientists reject these proposals as a hoax. Remember March 10th, 1982? Probably not, but that's the day that the planets aligned and the Jupiter effect was supposed to wreak havoc over all. Well, you're still here. And what about January 1st, the year 2000? It was the great Y2K scare. Electronics were to destroy the world. Well, they've definitely destroyed your lives, but not in the way we would have imagined. And June 6, 2006, the well-known 666, the mark of the beast, some say the sign of the devil. That day came and went and we have yet to see doomsday. Now here we sit, mere hours away from the end of the world. And whether you believe in it or not, don't take this day lightly. Hysterical people around the world may be living their last day to the fullest, committing random acts of crime and endangering people around them. Make sure you're cautious tomorrow, guys. So, humans, more specifically students at Fountain Valley High School, if tomorrow is the last day of Earth or not, it is the last day of school for 2012.